Engineer 775, what you think about my office today? Not too shabby, got a long view here in an undisclosed location on top of a hill. This is probably gonna be one of the best solar windows we've gotten yet on a job. We're just putting solar up on a knoll. We're very nervous about coming here due to the reputation of Tennessee's Rocky Hills. <laughs> and uh, we did some water projects in Tennessee that were scary trying to get through all the rock. So anyway, we're putting in a 32 panel Sinclair and we've pounded two posts and thankfully they have gone in full embedment. And then we'll be trenching through the cows and the chickens and the donkeys and the horses up to the house. And uh, there's solar already on this house. That's from a Pico blender that needs one more panel to really do its job. And while we're here, we're gonna do that too. We're gonna fix that. And then we're gonna throw one of those giant pigs in the truck when Rodney's not looking and take it back to South Carolina. Just kidding. Uh, Abraham is getting us lasered up. Everything's going well. This is gonna be an awesome, awesome solar window. This is will probably be the most productive 32 panel racking we have put up just because of the super awesome location. So uh, we got a beautiful day. We got two more posts and if they go in, I'm gonna do a jig all the way down the hill. All right, day two. Well, really, we had four hours of driving yesterday, so it is day two. We were able to get the posts in, laid out purlins so we know we're good and we come back next week. We just wanted to come do a couple days of dirt work, see if we're gonna run into the classic Tennessee Rocky Mount. But so far, so good. We just hit solid rock on that post and pounded through on the others. So a nice little farm here, and we are, uh-oh, here comes, here's the customer, Rodney, he's gonna keep, he's keeping an eye on us. He's been super helpful with uh, letting us borrow his Polaris, his tractor, delivering materials to us. He really wants his solar in. Okay, so he's got a pretty awesome solar window here from pigs to shining sea over there. So lots of, lots of sunshine for this 32 panel. Okay, that's what I did. And then we're gonna, uh, there's some panels there from an old Pico blender installation and I'm gonna add a panel next week. But we are trenching from there, dee dee dee, through there, done. All right, it's lunchtime, day two. And we've got our trench that I've backfilled, dug and backfilled and piped all the way to this point. Gonna finish backfilling that up. We dug under the sidewalk and we got a vertical. Yes, we're stubbed out at the house. So that's a 365 feet run there. 365 foot. And then we've got to run from that garage down to another house, about 150 feet and get pipe in there too. So anyway, we're making progress. I'm thankful that there wasn't a rock in here like our last job, oh my goodness. So this has moved pretty fast and the chickens are super happy. All right, end of day one. Got about five hours into this, got this mech room all built up, batteries in place, just turn the inverters on. Yeah, they're through an alarm because I don't have the jumper. I just wanted to turn them on and do some basic programming. Come on through, Willis. And uh, we're uh, working on the connections with the AC disconnect in this panel. We're gonna run this whole panel. That's the plan. Oh, and that Pico blender reminds me I have to fix it. I gotta add a panel. We just don't have enough voltage on that. So this is my first seven arcs in a row on two sole arcs and a bypass. That's gonna be a nice, nice system. Yeah. All right, well, we're wrapping up. We got some big PDBs to put in there. Everything's coming together nicely. Oh, time to get some shut eye. All right, day two on phase two. We're back up on the hill. We're gonna panel this Sinclair 32 panels. You got just an awesome drop off, great. So sunshine, we're up on this knoll and it drops off this way too. 
So there's nothing to shade. So this is great. All right, the Array 32 panel is built. What a great solar site this is gonna be. Looking forward to watching this on the app. But it's almost 10 days to Christmas and uh, we got, it's four o'clock and it's just cooking. Everything came out well. So really good embedment on the posts and everything's nice and straight. And uh, we're just cleaning up right now on the hill. We just pulled the wire in. It's a 365 foot pull to the neck, to the left of the meter base. Ah, <sighs> but that is beautiful. Just a beautiful array. Ah, good morning. I got Bluetooth in. I hope it is recording okay. We are uh, just gonna wire everything up today. It's time to lay in the wires. We've got a grid power distribution block, a load power distribution block, a generator power distribution block, ground bars, and we'll start connecting the two solar arcs. We're gonna run two EMT runs down here for bringing in the solar, bringing in the generator, and uh, turn my battery shelf into a workbench. And uh, so this is a, this is kind of the fun part of solar, just hooking it all together. Then we got a battle over here in the corner, getting this SER where it needs to go, out to a disco, fuse disconnect, and we're gonna get CTs. We always seem to forget the CTs, but we need to keep remembering that, um, especially on somebody that's connected to utility that's dealing with TVA. There's no exporting with batteries, so you can do everything behind the meter, which the CTs allow you to do. So when you hook into the CTs, into this terminal block, and you put this on limited power to home. This will be the master, this will be the slave. Then we will be able to control um, and sell to the house as much power as is being used at any one time. So looking forward to getting this baby fired up. All right, while we're here, we're doing a little accessory on the Pico blender that was installed. We just did not have enough voltage. So after consulting with Thunderbird and Pico and SunTech, we're adding a panel to this array. These guys are coming up the back side. Oh, and I'll show you the front side. This has been a little project that has gone on a little too long. So the pump has been changed out, but this the roof is really southeast. So unless it's in direct sunlight, it's not getting enough power to pump water. So we're gonna add a panel right here and put it in series. If I go 10, I'll be over voltage. Nine will work. And then um, they got a new pump. So that's their um, off-grid water separate from our solar job. So there we go. Um, we'll see how it works when we update it. I know you can't see much here with the our power's off, so this is proof that this works. So this uh, Pico Blender, we added another panel. Just weren't getting enough uh, voltage, and the maximum voltage is 400, so we're, uh, we're about 360 volts now with nine panels. And we just pumped from no water to 65 PSI on solar. That warning light is just the pressure switch making. So the pressure switch is open down here. We're running on solar only because it's dark in this house. There's no grid, the meter's been pulled. No cheating, and we just uh, pumped water off grid with the Pico Blender. This is the Pico Blender 2500, and it's been a challenge getting this tuned in. But finally, they just needed more power, and the roof is really hard southeast. So unless it was direct sunlight in the morning, it wasn't going to uh, produce enough power. But now it worked. That's great. It's a cloudy day, and we just pressurized this entire bladder tank. Yes, yes. Just a little aside for this project. Well, last day wrap up has been fast and furious. We did uh, have a few issues we had to correct. And uh, we got our, anyway, the inspector was pretty cool. And we have our service release. And, but we don't have our final inspection. So 
this county has some particular ways about them. Um, so <laughs> we are uh, jumping through the hoops, and um, right now we're separating all the grounds and neutrals, in, uh, which was the main panel, is now a sub-panel. So try to clean up some of the messes that were here, well pump messes. So glad we got the Pico blender working, which is running off of these. We had to add a panel to make it work, and now it works off grid, but, and it blends grid when grid's available. So anyway, power company just left, popped the meter back in, and as soon as we get this panel cleaned up, we'll be able to turn the house back on. So the last day is always fun. We have um, updates to be made, and we had to replace the MCU boards in each inverter for paralleling. So we're pushing updates right now. This one's been updated. I don't know if they push this one. Um, I, did, I might have missed it. So our batteries are, oh, yay, we hit 100%. Not too long ago, we were on 50. So we've got CTs. We're going to be in limited power to home here. We can't sell back. No net metering here. And we're having to move all... It's an old panel, and we started pulling things apart, and breakers are fail. I think the one breaker was being held in by the cover. Scary. So we're moving grounds over to just separating the grounds from the neutrals in this panel, trying to clean it up. We've got a little bit of work to do left here. Boys, oh my goodness. Oh, it's a tight spot. And uh, so we're making progress. And hopefully we'll be able to load test this thing here shortly. Anyway, this is the last day with Engineer 775 in Tennessee. I hope to be out of here by lunchtime, but we're not going to get out of here by dinner time. So that's it. Let me know what you think.